I'm Jess and I am going to try to tone down my excitement level a couple percentage points because I don't want to be talking a million miles an hour, but I am so, so excited for today. I say that every video, but today I am the most excited that I've been in a while because Cody and I have launched our very own t-shirt and sweatshirt line. So we designed all of these by hand and printed them and we are really, really excited about this. So can't wait to share that with you. Just a little background if you care, but this kind of works. Like Cody is an artist and he's a graphic designer, so he is really good at taking what people say and putting it on <laughs> paper. And so I kind of just had these vague designs in my head. I would talk and he would draw until we got something that looked right and then we kind of went through the reformation process from there. So it's been a long process, but it's been a fun process and we are just really grateful for your support for allowing us to have the opportunity and the time to do this. And we're excited to show you and to keep making new designs. So starting with the shirt that I'm actually wearing. So if you'll see on the side by side, you can see this one a little bit closer up, but I was already wearing this today and I thought why change out of it when I'm gonna talk about it anyway. So um, this is actually the first design that I came up with. And of course it's leopard. You'll see a few leopard things <laughs> throughout. But these are like the unisex, um, just basic t-shirts. So they are really soft. They're true to size. I bought size small in everything in the t-shirts and the sweatshirts. So if you, which I kind of wanted these to fit like a top and not like a school t-shirt for <laughs> someone's basketball team or something. So if you do want more of an oversized fit, I would suggest maybe sizing up one. For me, I love the way that the smalls fit and that's kind of the style that I wanted, which would be my typical size that I would get at, you know, a graphic tee at American Eagle or anywhere else. So just kind of keep that in mind when it comes to sizing. But I am really pleased with this one. I love Olive, you know that if you've been here a while. I of course love Leopard, so this was just a great um, mix of two of my favorite things to wear. So really excited about this and um, I kind of created all of these t-shirts as I think my style is kind of like <laughs> my favorite outfits to wear is like casual but put together still. So that's kind of what I had in mind when I was making all of these. So that'll kind of give you some context too, but moving on. This one is a really fun one and I had this in my head and did not know how this was gonna turn out and Cody nailed it with figuring out exactly what I wanted. So I'm really pleased with this one. This is espresso based drinks. So it just goes through the different types of espresso. If you are a coffee espresso lover, like myself, then this might be a great t-shirt for you. I love black and white because it's so easy to style. So I had this on in the video with that big color block cardigan from Amazon that's really bright and colorful. Um, obviously you can do a million different things with black and white, so I don't think this is ever gonna get old. And even moving into fall, I think this, really all the t-shirts are pretty good layering pieces, but particularly this black and white is gonna be really easy to throw on a cardigan with or a jacket and be good to go. So smalls in all of these two. And then this one we also did in the sweatshirt. So these are just your basic fleece sweatshirt. So it's not a hoodie, um, but I love having a couple of these on hand for fall and winter. I just think they're super cozy. And I thought the design turned out really great on this. And I think this would be super easy to just throw on with a pair of jeans like I did in the video and some sneakers. Very easy look. Um, I'm all about easy and affordable, but still looking put together. So yeah, really excited about this one too. Move these out of the way. Ciao, buddy. Tucker's laying down here, you can't see him. <laughs> okay, here is the other leopard find. So I was so, so pleased with this one. And let me tell you, we went through the ringer trying to get this color pink exactly right. And I'm really glad we found this one because it is perfect. It's exactly what I had in mind. Um, I just love this big leopard design on this. I think this is super unique. I've never seen a shirt like this in a store, which is another reason why I wanted to create this line. Like I wanted something that was a little bit unique. I feel like you see a lot of graphic tees with just like text on them and writing on them or like the, um, I don't know how to, you know, like pumpkin spice, 
backyards, <laughs> whatever they all say. So I just wanted to create something that was a little bit unique and I'm really pleased with this, how this one turned out. This fabric is so soft and I think this is another good layering piece. By the way, I will link everything um, that I'm wearing with the shirts in the description to you and the jacket that I was wearing with this is actually a Walmart find and it's really soft and comfy too. So definitely check that out and all of these will be in the description too. Okay, this one came to me from our Paris trip back in May and I just kind of, I'm, I've actually always my whole life kind of thought up designs for things but never, I can't draw at all <laughs> and so I never did anything with them. But um, I kind of thought of this when we were in Paris and I just thought, oh, how cute would that be just to have a very simple shirt to kind of commemorate how much I love Paris. So this says, I love you Paris in French. And it is, this was actually the easiest one to style for me and my favorite one to style. Just because like I said with the espresso one, the black and white is so simple. And something about it saying Paris, I feel like it's a lot easier to dress this one up for some reason. So I wore this with that moto jacket and I think it was a very like put together look and even um, I posted these on my Instagram yesterday and got some great feedback and I had a couple people saying they were ordering this for casual day at work, like a casual Friday. So I think this could even be dressed up for workwear. And then lastly, we did that one in a sweatshirt too. And um, this one I really dressed up in the styling just to kind of show you how that would look. Obviously you could wear this just with jeans and um, sneakers or something too, but I actually love the look of a sweatshirt like this that is a little bit more dressed down with a skirt and some booties and a belt. I just think it's kind of a fun style that's a little bit different. So um, I was really pleased with this one too and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this in the fall. That's a wrap, but that is our first, um, what am I trying to say, collection of t-shirts. So love them all. I'm really excited about them. I hope that you guys are excited about them too. And I would love to hear some feedback from you if you want to let me know which one is your favorite, what you like, um, if you see any improvements that need to be made. We do have some new fall designs that we're working on right now. So make sure in the description you can sign up for our email list and we will be sending out some new designs and eventually you'll be able to kind of vote on what designs we pick and things like that too. So, so excited. Thank you so much for supporting us. We'll see you next time.